So I'm driving back from a gig on the road again. This is Creative License. I'm Bill Herman. Thanks for being a part of this little podcast. And all of you, I can't tell you how appreciative I am to have you a part of this and have you watching every week. You, you, you've, you've clicked on subscribe or you or you like the page on Facebook and, and you see it every week. I mean, there's a certain amount of you. It's not a really big, I don't have a huge audience or nothing, but... But many of you are doing this every single week. I can't thank you enough. I don't know how to thank you enough except to let you know that I'm living in... I'm grateful. I'm really grateful that you care enough to come and see me every week. And that you watch this thing that I put this work into. Um, and then and it, this speaks to what I wanted to talk about. You know, with Thanksgiving around the corner, we are sitting in Thanksgiving, right? Which is about being thankful, which is about gratitude. And gratitude, I think, is is a too too unused um, emotion. It's a very powerful thing when you're living in the world to be able to sit back and feel and express gratitude. Um, gratitude for your family and friends, uh, those people that support you in what you do and who you are. Uh, gratitude in the people you work for, and gratitude for the vendors you work around. I mean, we we have a stressful job at the same time as having a fun job. I mean, you, you get to have fun maybe once a week, twice a week, and then the rest of it is hard. And if you're a, if you're a solo entrepreneur, and this is your business and not just a side thing, and there's nothing wrong with having a side thing, I don't really care, but if this is your job, this is, this can be really stressful. Where's my next check going to come from? It's a slow season. What am I going to do? What if people stop hiring me? Oh my gosh, that person didn't hire me, or I didn't get two or three gigs. It's drying up. What's going on? So you're worried. And even that, on top of the fact you have to perform, there's a lot of things that can be stressful about it. A great way to alleviate that is to live in a world of gratitude. You know, looking at the fact that you can be grateful that you have a job that most people would die to have. I mean, they would do anything to have a job as fun as yours. Be grateful for that. Your family who are, are, are a wife or, or kids that could, could be sitting in, I wish you made more money. You know, but they're supporting you anyway because you're working really hard and you're living in something that you love and they're for you. It's grateful. You should be grateful for those people. Grateful for those vendors that say nice things about you. Here's one. Be grateful for the vendors that don't say good things about you (laughs) because you can learn from that. You can learn from what they're saying and you can get better and you can come to the business better. Grateful for everything around you. I mean... It is easy to get down on yourself. It is so easy to get down on who we are and what we do. And the best way that I've found to get past that is being thankful, being grateful for your entire life. And then get specific. And uh, if you want to take action on that gratitude by actually thanking those people, that is enormous. But for yourself, at least be grateful for you. And if you've never thought about a gratitude journal, think about it. It's something that I started up about a year ago for myself. Every morning or every evening, I just sit down and I list out the things that I'm grateful for. It's, it's made a difference. It's really has. This is Bill. This is Creative License. And again, thank you so much for watching this little show.